Hey guys, Matterfly to the second here with my first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. And it's been a while since I did my last Let's Play. You know, when I did my Let's Play of Yoshi's Island. Anyways, we're about to show you the intro. There's that famous battle between Nidorino and Gengar. And if you were playing Pokemon Blue, then that Need Arena would be replaced with Jigglypuff. The various buttons will be explained in the order of their import. Nah, I don't need to do that because I've played through Pokemon games tons of times. Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy, obviously. Let's begin with your name. What is it? By the way, if some of you who are not familiar with Pokemon, then the Pokemon that Professor Oak sent out was a female Nidoran. There are many differences between the male and female Nidorans. Like, all the, like, aside from their looks, like, even though they're also very similar, right? So your name is Matter 5 to 7. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Er, uh, what was his name again? I can't believe that he can't even remember his own grandson's name. And yes, I know a lot of people have done that. I'm going to name him Stupid. Was it Stupid? Yes, it was. That's right, I remember now, his name is Stupid! <laughs> Metal 5 to 7, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! And so, here we are, and... Before we go, I'm going to withdraw an item. See, there's a potion right there. <clears throat> By the way... In this Let's Play, I am not going to talk about everything in the game. Like, there are some things that I am not going to show, like what some of the people say, and... Hey! Wait! Don't go out! It's like, where did you come from? I mean, like, if you check in in Professor Oak's house, or in his laboratory, or anywhere else in Palatown, he's not there, but here, it says that he is here. Anyways, it's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. So, anyways, that thing was that I showed you earlier was a PC. You can withdraw items and deposit items in, in case your inventory gets full. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Stupid, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Meta 527. There are three Pokemon here. Haha! <laughs> these Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose! Hey, Gramps! No fair! What about me? Be patient, stupid. You can have one, too. Yes, I would like to have Bulbasaur. 
Now, I know a lot of... This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Matter of fact, it's on receive the Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Yes, I'm going to give a nickname from, for it. I was wondering what I should name it. Maybe I should name it Tigrito or however you pronounce it. Like, I asked some people what I should name it, and Dark Curl Patera gave me the suggestion of naming it Tigrito or however I pronounce it. I'll take this one then! So, now, our rival Stupid has just got a Charmander. And the other Pokemon is Squirtle. Wait! Meta 527! Let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! Rival Stupid would like to battle. Rival Stupid sent out Charmander. Go, Tigrino! Oh, for Pete's sake. Meta 527, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Now, I'm going to show you some of the basics of Pokemon. And here he says, inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. We're gonna lower its attack, and Professor Oak will say something different. Lowering the foe's stats will put you at an advantage. By the way, in case you're asking, I just saw the Disney Pixar movie Brave like very recently today and it was truly an amazing movie it looks like Bulbasaur can only I mean Tigrito can only take oh no I can't believe I lost Charmander come back that's weird I usually win yeah am I great or what Hmm, how disappointing. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon grow. If you lose, you end up paying prize money. However, since you had no warning this time, I'll pay for you. But things won't be so easy once you step outside the doors. That's why you must strengthen your Pokemon by battling wild Pokemon. I can't believe it. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Metal fight to send Gramps. See you later! I can't believe I lost. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna show you... Oh, I was going to show you what Squirtle looks like. I wasn't going to take it because it's not... Because there's no way to take it... After you already chose your Pokemon. I should have looked at Squirtle before I... I should have looked at Squirtle before I chose it. Before I chose Bulbasaur, I should have looked at all three Pokemon, but you'll still see Squirtle later. So, in the next episode, we are going to Route 1, and we are going to begin our journey. See you then!